The big weather news today, you'll probably hear more on the national news, is a potentially deadly heat wave caused by high pressure anchored in the Midwest. Now, this is the kind of heat wave that can last a while, although it's probably going to come in pulses as the jet stream wobbles up against it for the next two, three weeks. But it could cause possible crop damage, put the region into a drought from where they had floods just a few months ago. And it's a lot like the deadly heat wave of 1995 that killed hundreds of people in Chicago and also the 1980 heat wave that just just went on and on and on. I was working at the ABC affiliate in Dallas, Texas during that 1980 heat wave, and this is me plotting some of the 144 days where the temperature was over 100 degrees, and sometimes it was over 110. It was just brutal. I came home to Sarasota in the middle of this heat wave to cool off in July. Well, it looks like that heat wave is not going to last nearly as long as the one forming. I don't know where this guy went, but let's say goodbye to him. Uh, seriously, though, we have really dangerous heat developing right in the Midwest tomorrow. 100 for the actual temperature. The, uh, the temperature for the heat index is going to be 110 or more. It's going to be a very dangerous time right on through Saturday as the heat gets stronger and stronger.